I've been pretty eager to jump back in and continue with the story, especially since getting the Mantis. And that automatically opened, and hello. Um, yeah, I've been pretty keen to, to get going and see kind of what else the game has to offer. Some of the side quests, it's given me very much Bethesda in how the side quests are really grabbing. You almost want to prioritize those over the story um, for the core rewards, but also just some of the storylines. I have heard that there is one specific side storyline that is very good, and I'll be excited to find that whenever I do. Uh, I'm not sure it'll make it into videos, but that's only because I've got a month to play this game uh, before my Game Pass runs out. So what we're going to do is first contact, because we said we would. And then we're going to continue with the main story. So, let's just do it. Let's just dive right in. Man. It feels like such an immediate upgrade as well from the uh, one I remember the name of, definitely. Nope, can't remember. Con, con for me. Hello, Paradiso. Welcome to Paradiso. Jiro Sugiyama at your service. Good for you. Do you have a security concern, or is there something else I can help you with? I hear about the distress call you sent. Ah, yes, of course. I'm glad you came. As you can imagine, we're in a bit of a predicament. Under normal circumstances, we would not enlist outside help in this manner. But this is a matter we can't afford to worry our guests about. As such, we need to handle this discreetly. Failure on your part to do so could have severe consequences. Ooh. So, before we proceed, can you swear not to discuss this with anyone else unless explicitly directed to do so? I'm in a weirdly trusting mood today. Understood. I swear it. Let me know what you need me to do. Great. I appreciate it. Not too long ago, a strange and enormous ship appeared in Parima space. It is now locked in orbit around our planet. So far, it doesn't seem to be hostile, but any attempts to communicate with it have been in vain, so we're unsure of the ship's intentions. What do you think we're dealing with? Can't say for sure. Looks worn, but not cobbled together like a crimson fleet junker. Others have been saying it's some new Varun design, a gigantic battleship with hidden armaments preparing for assault, but that doesn't check out either. There's also been talk about non-human sentient life. The comms data we received might support that, but humanity's spread far and wide and no one's ever encountered I was about to say, like that. you didn't get a choice on Still, race or anything when you started the game. First contact. Which makes me think. Could you imagine? Is there really no other races that they found in the whole universe? <sighs> Seems like a delicate situation. Go on. Whatever's going on, we need to approach this with care. First, see if you have more luck communicating with them. If not, you may have to try boarding. Oh. Whatever you do, it's important to remember to seek diplomacy with who or what ever's on board. Okay. As soon as you have any more information, report to Oliver Campbell. He's the CEO of Paradiso. All formal decisions will need to go through him, and he'll have your pay. Good luck. Money. We're into money. As thousands of people have now seen, I in fact have a mortgage to pay. So... <sighs> okay. I'm not trying to stay out of your way though, so uh, don't expect it. Not got a lot of ammo for this gun, but oh, we'll see how it goes. I keep forgetting you can go straight to cockpit. Always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. Not even meant to be here. What was the other one called? The Frontier, that was it. Um, crew. You're unassigned.
and assign right and then I want to I want to unassign her confirm assign him raise a leaf Why is she still on the razor leaf? I just can't be rid of you. What are you doing in there? Ship is way bigger than Dad's. Go on. Books. That is an odd way to start a conversation. I guess it is. Do you have more books or can you buy me more books? With real pages, a spine, the whole package. My book allowance is all gone and dad won't get any more. So, books? Hey, hey, don't let her con you out of more credits. Her book allowance damn near bankrupted me. Dad, this is between us. What sort of books are you into? I like books about quantum theory and astrophysics. Or science. Or horses. Did you know that it wasn't until after the Industrial Revolution that horse speed was the maximum civilization speed for centuries? All of society was built upon horses. Imagine what they must have looked like for real. They look smelly in a good way. <laughs> Add this to your book fund. Oh, Samco loved ever. that. Well, now you don't. Now you can get pestered about books now. That's why he loved that. Yeah. He's be a free of to pay for my education. Now the important question. Hey Barrett. Pizza. Favorite topping? And please don't say cheese. Dad loves boring old cheese. Oh, if we're talking real. I eat a lot of veggie pizza. I don't like meat on pizza. That's my that's my weird confession for today. I just don't like it. It's too heavy. I like pizza for the opposite reasons of heavy meat. I'm very much like a... I mean, to be honest, a classic margarita, I can't go wrong with it. I like anything that's got a bit of goat's cheese, you know, caramelized onions, little pepper kernels, those sort of things, but I'd call that veggie. We'll go veggie. Veggies? Like the green No, stuff? I don't mean like bell peppers or something. Part of a balanced diet. Then you eat them. Ugh. Let me think. Barra got bored of that I conversation. I that I will stay. You have the Cora stamp of approval. I, okay. Uh, seem to have left my stamp back on Dad's ship. But imagine it there, on your arm. Cora approves. Man, the galaxy's too big to be stuck in the same place. Just double checking he is, uh, see if he has a Cora approved. Uh, badge and he didn't. Well, I didn't see it anyway. God, the, the outfit's a bit silly, to be fair. Take off. Man, it is cool. Maybe with this one, with more parts, I can move more around. Hmm. Oh, now we're hailing it. Um, sorry, you're breaking up. Can you try a different channel? What? Hello, uh, this is like cozy. Is there something wrong? Do you need help? I don't understand you. Can you hear me? I'm going to try all of them before docking. Is there something wrong with your commu communications array? I think this is where I can go into temp docking procedure and we can talk on board.
So my chair keeps dipping, so just trying to sort that out in between. Who's this uh, voice actor for Sam Coe? He sounds familiar. And I don't know why. Any adventure you can fly away from. Why are you here? I've tried to boot her out, she just won't go. Remain calm. There's no reason to suspect whatever it is is hostile. Hello? Human. Of course I'm human. I take it you're expecting something else. Um, human, I didn't know there were other options. Oh, pardon my ignorance. We just didn't expect to find people out here. We didn't think anyone else left Earth before us. Wait, you, what? you thought you were the only ones? I am afraid you have been unaware of a great many things. You sh oh, shouldn't be here. Yes, we should greet our guests. Of course, manners. I'm Captain Diana Brackenridge. This is security officer Bomani Reader. Hmm. He looks unsatisfied. And this is Dr. Mabuti da Costa, one of our elders. A pleasure to meet you. I'm not crazy and I'm here to help. Um. I see. As you may have presumed, we're in a bit of a bind. Our ship has finally completed its near 200 year journey from Earth only to find our new home seemingly colonized by, well, we don't know. Communications haven't been successful, so your arrival is fortuitous. Perhaps you'd be willing to act as a middle person between ourselves and the others. Um, incredible, 200 years. How did it take you so long to get here? Ah, your question confirms one of our recent theories. It would seem that some form of faster than light travel or space bending technology was invented during our long journey. That would explain why we would find people this far out into space. I guess technology leapfrogged us at some point. Interesting. I can only imagine that our predecessors didn't believe the technology would ever work. And so they made the decision to leave when they did. So you know about the people on the surface? We do. Well, sort of. We saw structures using our surveying equipment. We've also seen the various ships pass us by. Some even seemed to want to communicate, but couldn't. Of course, we had no idea that they were being piloted by other humans. The communications didn't work, why is that? We're not entirely sure. Our engineers believe it's possible to our technology just isn't compatible with theirs. All we hear when using them to communicate with anyone is a bunch of disturbing noise. It gave me the heebie-jeebies at first. How did you all survive for 200 years? Well, the short answer is, we didn't. It's a generation ship, which is to say that most of us lived long, happy lives on board and passed our mission down to our children. It was never intended that the original crew would make it to our destination. The goal was always the preservation of the human race above all else. So it would seem that was perhaps a bit <laughs> presumptuous. Uh, you know those others are human beings and they were here first. Of course, we know that now. Human or not, we were still unable to communicate our intentions. As soon as we discovered them, we fully expected negotiations would be necessary. Now then, please follow me. There's much to discuss first. We'll speak more on the matter once we reach the bridge. Sure. How big should it looks Strong massive? Pressure. The ship. You may return to your quarters if you wish. Thank you, Captain. I will follow you to the bridge. What's good? Have they got all old Earth weapons? I think they do. That's so cool. Just like a nice little detail to sell it. Colony ship Constance. In the early 2100s, my ancestor Rupert Brackenridge researched a number of scientific scenarios: climate change asteroid impact, nuclear war, global pandemic, and more. Each scenario showed the likelihood of an extinction-level event to be within 50 years. 
He fully believed Earth was destined to be rendered uninhabitable. Oh. We've always assumed that's what happened. We were so, never trained he gathered the best and brightest he could find, ship. built the constant, and set a course for this planet here. We were told that it was the largest, most advanced ship ever constructed on Earth at the time. If you can believe, entire generations have been born, lived, and died on this ship. It really goes to show that there are no limits to human ingenuity and perseverance. The Constant is a peaceful ship. Don't change that. What did you do for fuel? Just stay out of trouble. I am shocked and impressed that all of this is still functional. Me too. I didn't believe anyone would be out here, but I'm glad for it. How's your crew holding a bit up? Frazzled, as you can imagine. People are anxious about discovering that we're not alone and also worried about what will come to pass. While we hope we can work out a deal with the people on the surface, they seem reluctant to reach out, so there's no telling what will come of that. I do know that we can't afford to stay here in orbit forever. The ship was built to sustain us for many years with backup provisions just in case, but even that will come to an end eventually. Sounds like you could do some help with your situation here. Well, as I mentioned, we've been unsuccessful in communications with anyone up until you arrived, though not for lack of trying. But since you're asking, maybe you'd be willing to be a sort of diplomat between us and them as we attempt to resolve our situation. Does that sound agreeable to you? Um... What's wrong with your communication system? We suspect that our equipment is woefully obsolete compared to whatever you all have now. In all honesty, we never expected to need to communicate with anyone, so our comms aren't particularly robust. That limits our options. We even attempted communicating with lights and sounds, something we saw in an old movie, but I don't believe they picked up on it. If anything, it may have inadvertently alarmed them. Then, in, then uh, the people in Paradiso want the same. I'll help. Ah, oh, so they have a name, Paradiso, and it sounds promising that they sent you here to speak with us. You see, we intended to settle here, but we assumed that they intend to defend their claim given their presence here. We'd like you to go speak to them on our behalf and help us negotiate a solution, preferably one that favors us. Um. I'll try, but diplomacy may require compromise. Yes, yes, of course. But we need to start from a firm position and state our goal. If need be, we can compromise, work out a mutually beneficial deal or some such. But initially, I'd like you to be firm with them and convince them to leave the planet to us. Let me know how they respond and we'll go from there. Poroma 2 is huge. Why not just settle on the other side of it and away from the others? We thought about it, but it simply won't do. I need to think about the distant future of our people. Sure, our first settlement may be small, but our predecessors dreamt of our new civilization spreading across the globe. That will be difficult if someone else plans to do the same. While we're not completely close to the idea of sharing, it's much easier if we have complete domain over this world. Okay, but no promises I'll be able to convince them. Now, now. It makes little sense to give up before you try. Thank you, and good luck. Okay, we'll give it a go, but... I'm not sure... Can I not just... go there? Oh, do I have to go back to my ship every time? Oh man, do I actually? <laughs> okay. Never seen a ship like yours before. This isn't where I meant to be. Right, let's find it. Panting, panting. Oh. No, it's the engine room. There's so much more to learn about now. Oh my god, I'm lost. Oh, 
I knew this would happen. We've got strict rules around here. They're strict for a reason. Okay. Cockpit, I can do that. Jesus. Keep forgetting. Um, good. I hope you're having a good day. All right, there's too many people in this ship. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> Was that your stomach or mine? I hope Cora doesn't get too much on this foot. Okay. Let's undock and uh, go speak to, uh, is he called Oliver Campbell? Is that what he said he was called? It's like a proper oldie looking ship too. Maybe. Thanks. Land. Some of those screenshots are really nice. I hope they're taken from the community. That animation, look at that. Bam. Oh, we're not going over there, are we? Oliver Campbell. I'm sure that was his name. I'm going with it. If it is, or oh, isn't. Good for my safety. Holy crap. <laughs> It's all of these really light areas just look really poor. I'm not much of a beach person, but everyone talks about this place, so I had to. I'm on vacation because I don't. Okay. Um, I don't need to know. Um, but thank you. Want to be bothered? I didn't. Wait, what? I didn't bother you. That was rude. Uh, in here. Oh. Excuse me, you can't just waltz in there. Do you have an appointment? I kind of do. Uh, do I really need one? I'm afraid so, yes. Sorry, but that's just how it is with the board. They're generally very busy, so any outside parties need to book appointments in advance. Uh, you have a problem with a ship in orbit. I'm here to help. Oh, you're the one they're waiting for then. Do you need anything else from me before you move? I was trying not to tell her about it. Um, I'm ready to go into the boardroom. Sure. Have fun in the shark tank. And don't worry. Even they call it that. There's only three of them. that we should be focusing on the natural beauty of this planet, not our amenities. There are millions of planets out there. People can go to any one of them. The resort facilities are precisely what we bring to the table. Heck, <laughs> it's the only thing we've really got to offer. Ah, I don't want to risk us coming off as just another artificial, shady, trash fiddle dump like Neon. That's not who we are. We've got something special here. We should embrace that. The bomb's right. Thank you. I... We don't want to compete with Neon. Value's ruthless. He'll do anything he can to eliminate the competition. We don't need that kind of trouble. That being said, I think there's a middle ground. Maybe build up the beachfront at a boardwalk amusement park. I've had this idea to build artificial hot springs. That sort of thing. Uh. Sounds good. I'll look into what that will cost us and we can circle back around to this. Hello. Some time for you. So the marketing for this place writes itself. Uh, I understand you're the man I need to talk to about the strange ship in orbit. I am. And you must be the diplomat Jiro told me about. Welcome, welcome. Normally I'd offer you an all inclusive stay at our resort before we spoke. But given the circumstances, I'm going to cut to the chase. We've got our friends, the aliens, up there causing all sorts of problems for our resort. You like that? The marketing team came up with it. The thought is, if we can't get rid of them, it might actually attract more tourism. Come see the aliens! <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Um, let's just get to the matter at hand. Ah, you're being direct then. Good on you. So, what do you know about this dodgy ship I'm hearing all about? It's a generation ship full of colonists from Earth. Here after a 200 year journey. Um... That one, yeah. Well, First one I just read. That's something. Shame we can't just tell them kindly to bugger off. Something tells me that's not going to work. Now, tell me, what are we going to do about it? Give me some proposals, people. I need something to work with here. Hmm. We could offer to resettle them here. There's more than enough space. They could stay here. Temporarily. But it'll cost them. Quite a bit, too. They'd need to work off all their debts before being allowed to leave. Uh, maybe not. What if we help them get out of here? Outfit their ship with a grab drive so they can find a new home. We could even lend our engineers to help and give their captain an updated star map. What do you think? Sounds costly. We can't absorb that cost, and it's unlikely they even have compatible currency, let alone enough for the transaction. Someone else would have to foot the bill. Oh, I swear this would be a lot easier if they ceased to exist entirely. Anyway, Seema's got the right idea. Either works for me. Just tell me what you want to do. Neither. <laughs> so they can live here, but they'd be indentured servants. Um, why can't they just settle on the other side of the planet or something? We own this planet, they don't. Here at Paradiso, we don't like leaving things to chance. Who knows what these people will do with their land? Imagine the landscaping disasters they might come up with, and how that might mar the satellite imagery of the planet in our brochures. No, much better to assimilate them into our culture if they come here to live, rather than leave it to chance. These are human beings and you're worried about landscaping, that's absurd. Um, yeah. But absurd or not, that's our official stance. I make the decisions that are best for our entire group. You don't. So they can live here, but they'd be indentured servants. Oh, I didn't say that specifically. This would be a mutual contract for room and board in exchange for services rendered. Of course, there's no telling how long this arrangement will last, given the substantial costs we'd need to take on in order to accommodate them here, including their continued room and board. But this may save the resort on operating costs in the long term, as we'd be able to let go of some of our current paid staff. <laughs> oh, man. Cease to exist. Are you suggesting I destroy the ship? Oh, I'm not suggesting anything other than it would make our lives so much easier if that ship ceased existing. Make of that what you will. Why can't we just let some other authority handle this? We operate outside of the Free Stars and the UC. Partially because we don't want anyone else meddling in our affairs. And we'd rather not draw attention to it, as I've mentioned. It could be bad for business. We'd much rather settle this independently. And why would I have to buy the grab drive? It's not our responsibility to bear the brunt of that cost. We're being more than generous by offering the use of our engineering team to help install it. A custom grab drive can't come cheap, and I assume they have neither the monetary means nor the connections to get a hold of that kind of technology. That leaves the only other party in this negotiation. You. God, you're just awful. Um. Guess we're tabling it for now. Let's circle back around ASAP, though. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna f uh, blah, 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 blah. we're gonna fly back. Um. To them. Because I feel like. Fast travel is a selected location. I feel like if we talk to them, maybe we can get some other options from their side of it. We'll see. God, it just feels so wrong. It is good to be back in our own ship. You're not meant to be in this ship. <laughs> she keeps going on about it.
looks so pretty up here. We're in orbit. Oh. Into docking range. I'm hoping if we go back to them, we get some new options and then we can reevaluate it. But I have a feeling I'm just going to end up going back down. Fronting the grav drive would be the right thing to do, but I don't want to pay for it. Now that we know what's out there. Unless I could steal it all back from Paradiso. Careful waving that fancy gun around. No matter what the future holds, Where is she? I think I'll always be more comfortable in space. Just because our equipment's old doesn't mean it won't work and take down troublemakers. The constant is a piece of shit. Don't change that. Hello, I need to wake you up. Now that you're here, I can finally give my crew a chance at safe travels to you. Oh, uh, really? Are those no the options? Out. Don't forget to tell of us in your travels. God damn. That's really bad. Okay. We were never trained. How many credits do I have? 11,000. How much is my mortgage? Oh, I don't remember how much it is. We've got strict rules around here. Cockpit. Hello? Did I board by accident? I think I did. Undock space. I did. That did happen. That's a clean break. Ready to go. Da -da -da -da. I'm back down. Wait. This is the right planet. Yeah. Whatever you say. Well, the right option is to grab drive, and then what I'm going to do is plan the heist of a fucking century, and I'm going to steal enough stuff back to get the money back. That's how we're doing this. Executive floor. some time for you but keep it quick. So about that colony ship your decision we can help them resettle here and work off their debt or we can outfit their ship with a grab drive at your own personal expense What if after all this they continue to insist a claim to this planet predates yours? They'd be hard pressed to defend that claim in any courts. Our charter goes back years. It was registered with both the UC and Free Star Collective, per the Centaurus Proclamation. 
We may be outside the settled systems, but that child as official as can be. I'm sorry, but you're going to need to be the one to break the news to them that they need to make a compromise or leave. Hypothetically, what could make a ship like that go away? No, I'll buy a grav drive. Ah, good on you. You want to see a man named Benno St. James over at Hope Tech. He's the best in the business. If anyone can retrofit a 200-year-old ship with a modern grav drive, it'd be him. We'll coordinate our engineering team with his when you return. Though you may have to help the Constance engineers prepare for it on their end. Good luck. They deserve a renewed chance to decide their own fates. That is the right thing to do. Correct. Right. On behalf of the Paradiso group, we appreciate your help. What's not to love about this planet? I suppose that is ours it now. It is ours now. Okay. Don't say a word. Comprende? It's not illegal to open some cupboards, is it? Hi there. I've got a lot on my plate right now, but I'm happy to help if you need it. Deluxe penthouse suite. Inaccessible. Requires key. Oh, the doors are locked elsewhere. I'll be back. So where are we going? Is this on planet? Oh, it's a whole different system. Okay. I don't know. It's weird. I can't never tell if it's going to slouch on the chair. We're going to do a quick scan for contraband, and you can be on your way. Um. Is that where are we going? Hang on. Is that where we're going? Where am I? No, Hope Town is here. Hope Town. <sighs> I'm worried about the cost of this. This is stressing me out. Exit ship. Everywhere I go, she's there. I don't want to hear any complaints. Hope to. Excuse me. Excuse me. A little desperate here. Sorry, I'm busy. A fair amount of business runs through Hope Town, and from what I understand, most of it. Oh, shit. It's hard to tell sometimes what's a door and what's a loading screen door. Keep an eye on your valuables. You can't protect your own. You don't I have never liked Hope Tech ships. Though I suppose there is more that we could learn from them. 
Hey, bud. Oh. Oh, no. That wouldn't work. The O2 needs enough capacity for the whole ship. I hear you're an expert with grav drives and other ship parts. I need to ask for a favor. Sure. That sounds like me. What can I do for you? I'm a little busy, but uh, I think you could spare some time. Oliver Campbell sent me. I'm here about a grav drive for an old colony ship. Oh, you should have just said that. Of course I can help you. Oliver sent a courier ahead of you. I did some research on ships from that era, and I have a decent idea what we're dealing with. So grav drives didn't really take off until after the ship was built. But I've got access to an ancient grav drive that looks like it could be compatible. Okay. It's some minor adjustments. It's in good shape, too. Parts not cheap, though. Neither is the labor. Just pay the combined cost of parts and labor, and it's yours. Wait, we still have business to discuss. That's half of my money. We could save valuable weight. Ah, right. It's a pretty big ass. Sweat him down. Given how rare these old grab drives are. Surely the profit you'd make doesn't compare to the freedom you'd be giving these people. Damn. As much as I'd love to, I just don't if I can afford to take a loss on this again I'm sorry you've had that old part for how long and no one has yet offered to buy it true I keep telling myself I'm holding on to it for the right time perhaps this is that right time oh News about helping these people is bound to spread. You could get a lot of recognition. Ah, yes. That's something I hadn't considered. I could be famous, and with that comes more lucrative contracts. Half it. Tell you what. Sounds like this is for a good cause. While I can't give you the part for free, I won't charge you for the work. That seems reasonable. Thank Just you. Done right it is. I'll get to work on it right away. I recommend you go back to the ship and ask the captain to prepare for its retrofit. Standard stuff. I'm sure they have an engineer on board to help. We'll send the part along when it's ready and install it with the help of Oliver's people. Pleasure working with you. Talk to me. We'd be dust except for the factory. Every day. Looking for stuff to steal. Resorted to theft now, I see. You're damn fucking right. Hold it right there, you're under arrest. Pay the fine. You're coming with us. We'll be taking any contraband and stolen property you have on you. Where were you when I was just robbed? Out of 25,000 credits to save the lives of hundreds of people.
Just keep Damn it. Cold. Craziness. Set course for the ship again. We jump there. Still talking about sports. Yeah. It was a bad move. We traded our top player to mediocre ones. Who makes that kind of deal? I, 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 I can't think of one. Don't get no work done. We'll get through it together, buddy. Let me dock. Dock. I wish there was a faster way to dock. And get onto the bridge, but I suppose you're not doing this back and forth all the time. Let's go tell them what we've done. Now that we know what's out there, uh, this way. Just I guess I'm going to engines, aren't I? Never seen a ship like yours before. Oh no. Back this way? I think it's back this way. Yes. These are exciting Hello. Times. from outer space and here you are welcome welcome i have a million burning questions but i won't overwhelm you there will be plenty of time for that later please indulge me just a couple how did you do it did humanity finally discover faster than light travel and eclipse our poor old ship we have tech called a grav drive that allows ships to bend space ah, i knew it it's it's incredible I read about this technology in our archives from Earth, but it was only theoretical back then. <laughs> Amazing! I'll have to learn more. Oh, I've got so many questions, but I'm being rude. I haven't even given you my name. Hello. Chief Engineer Kazemi, but you can call me Amin. And I might add, I'm one of the reasons we're still floating out here today. Um... Uh, I get it. You want to know what's changed since your ship departed? Indeed. Thank you for being so kind and indulging me. You must understand how thrilling this news is for someone like me. Someone who suspected this encounter was, in fact, possible. I'm supposed to help you prep the ship for the grav drive. What grav drive? <laughs> Just joking with you. The Paradiso engineers filled me in. Okay, let's see what we need to do. Hmm. All right. This will be fun. And hopefully there will be no explosions in the process. I have just received word that the drive is here. Ready to get to work? Sure. Great, great, great. There are three preparations I need you to help me make while I set things up on my end. First thing I need you to do is reroute the power from the port turbo pump to the auxiliary cryogenic radiator. Then, turn the plasma runoff inhibitor function to 5%. Last, you'll need to decouple the magnetic branch pipe enclosures from the auxiliary module assembly. Got it? Let's hop to it. Let's start. Plasma runoff inhibitor to 5%. That one done. That one looks done. Engineering control panel. I think he said auxiliary. 
to the turbo pump. I remember a turbo pump being a thing. Hello. He said flange in, in the enclosure, so that one. Decouple. Oh no. This one. Damn it. From actuator. Damn it. From the assembly. Nice. We were alone. Let's try this one again. I think it's. I'm sure it was this. Maybe I picked the wrong one to begin with. Hey, there we go. Alright. Sure. Can I... Can I just tell you to leave? Here, I have something for you. Oh? Don't feel obligated to get me anything. No, no, no obligation. I just... I wanted to. I saw it earlier and thought you might like it. Or find it useful. Or... Well, whatever. Thank you for thinking of me? Of course. We are partners, are we not? I will keep an eye out in the future. And if I see something, I might hold on to it for you. Maybe she can stay. Maybe I've changed my mind about getting rid of her. I might keep her. God damn. Keep getting lost. Big ship. Yeah, you say that every time I walk past you, and it's definitely not getting annoying. Just stay out. Hello. We didn't believe anyone would be out here, but I'm glad. Craft for driving it. installed. You should be all set now. Well, well, it would appear we have the means to go nearly anywhere now, thanks to you. The engineers even upgraded our communications equipment so we can speak with passing ships. Turns out it was a pretty easy fix. Thank you again for all you've done. Uh, where will you go now? We don't yet know, but we did receive a star map from the Paradiso engineers. I suppose we'll just chart a course for other suitable habitable worlds until we find one that matches the quality of Paradiso. Um, Horima 2 here. Um, glad it worked out. Without you, we'd most likely be stuck. But you went above and beyond. I'll make sure people tell tales of your generosity for as long as our society lives. I don't know if we can ever fully repay you. Thank you again. Oh. They gave me a couple things. I do not recall you asking if you could take that. Um, what? So what did she just give me? She gave me weapons, a baseball, and a basketball. They're worth quite a bit of money. God damn, these are worth loads of money. I just like the look of that. Whew. So now I get to head down to Paradiso. We've got strict rules around here, but they're strict for a reason. Look, I'm just making sure I get what I deserve, okay? Careful waving that fancy gun around. 
Oh, I'll be careful. I need to figure out where I can sell contraband. Um, and where the best place to sell relics would be. Wrong way. God damn. Down here, there we are. <laughs> Come on, nearly there. Cockpit. Let's do this. Let's do uh, cargo hold. Go to inventory. Go to all. Anything that's got the contraband sign needs to move. Store. Store. That's all we had on us. Undock. Let's go speak to these other guys and see if they pay us. If they couldn't afford a grav drive. I wonder what they could afford to pay me, you know? That makes me nervous. Uh, where are they? Paradiso. Land. Let's figure it out. If I can sell everything that she gave me, I'd, be, I'd make more than the grav drive even cost. And then if you add the stuff I've stolen, it's a bit more. Oh my God, is that? Are they not going to pay me? You're joking. Um, let's go see about selling those relics. The shop in here. I get it, you're unimpressed. Does this include my ship? I think it does. It'll be in Misk. Oh, no, maybe it won't. Where will it be? I am not in cell. That'll do it. Oof. All right, I've done a quick Google. I'm unwilling to sell that stuff at that price when it okay. was listing as much higher. Shopping. Apparently in the soul system, it's a place that buys old earth. Um, stuff, basically. So we're looking for the soul system. We've been there before, so I'm assuming if we've been there. Yeah. I've got a pass through here, so I may as well... Um, May as well hand in a quest that I've got on the way. Have I moved all contraband over? Ooh. God, have I moved everything over that's contraband? I think I have. Yeah. 
or are there other space. matters that require your Maintain attention? Maintain current course while we scan for contraband. Alright, we're done. You're cleared to land at New Atlantis. Thank you. I'm not trying to go to the lodge. I want to go to this. That's my screenshot. I love that that's a thing. That's great. It's just, it all looks uh, a bit ugh. I'm not enjoying the cities very much. I'm running everything on high. Shouldn't look like this. Not with a GTX 2060, do you know what I mean? Galbank, I have a debt for you. I collected a long time ago. Good luck out there. I mean. My favorite critter. Oh, but I don't. He died. Oh, no. So, Dieter's estate has already settled our claim, and Gal Bank scores another victory. I'm guessing, but hoping that he didn't give you an option. But either way, Bank's thrilled with this new initiative. Mm. How I paid up with Dieter's choice, not mine. Not a surprise. And you know, if you keep working with us, it's probably going to happen again. Hopefully that doesn't scare you all. Listen, I'm really feeling this working together, aren't you? So if you want another delinquent, let me know. We'll keep this going. But here is your well-deserved finder. This is right at the beginning. I bet it's going to be nothing. Oh, that's an okay amount of money. Let's keep going. You, if you're up for it. So chalk this one up to a very fine but clearly overworked credit checker that accidentally approved a sizable loan then turned out to be murdering space scum. A real black guy, I know. I'm thinking conversation is not really going to be an option on this one, friend. Uh, time to hunt down a spacer. Well, you, you are really something, you know. Here's all the details, a and thanks. All right, we're heading to Sol. Soul. I think it said Mars. Titan. We're looking for Titan. There it is. Set course. Let's jump. Be advised, you are entering United Colony space. Please maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Come on. Andresia. Scan Andresia. There you go. Welcome to I've got the perfect you plan this time. To land I, new home I am not certain that I believe you based on similar conversations that we have had. We're going to listen to some old earth music. Jazz. You're going to love it. What is the purpose of this activity? It's fun. Hmm. I opt out. I'll check back with you later, if you want. <laughs> New homestead. This is where we're going. I haven't scanned yet. Extreme environment. I'm sure it is. It's Titan. But we're going to New Homestead, and hopefully they are safe. Unless they wouldn't be there, and it wouldn't be a homestead. And hopefully they'll buy my stuff for a ridiculous amount of money. That's really the only reason I'm going there. Oh, it is outdoors. Welcome to New Homestead. Hello. Please make your way to the building at the end of the oh. and down into the colony below. Underground. Stay safe and enjoy your visit. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, very low gravity. Welcome to the homestead. 
Thank you. And we're in. There is value you in? to be found in looking back through history, provided one does not cling too tightly to it. See, her clothes just like come off. Mine don't. We take vandalism seriously here. You don't mess with history. Okay. Are you a shop for security? Don't think we want to be here. You get used to the methane processing smell after a while. Oh, all right. We're looking for a shop that looks like a food place. Very informative. I didn't know about the methane harvesters before coming here. The, uh, there are awesome. times I huh? envy those who are able to travel that way to planet like this. Careful. Store. Here we go. I'm always looking to trade for off-world goods. Well, I got some there. stuff. And welcome to my little shop. Are you visiting New Homestead for the first time? Yeah, this is my first time. Oh, nice. You know, it's always such a pleasure to meet people from other worlds, or just space. <laughs> I don't judge. I'm Jay. I'm happy to help you find what you're looking to buy or take a look at whatever you want to sell. Trades of all kinds are welcome here. Or if you have any questions for me about the shop, the merchandise, or even just new homestead in general, I'm happy to help you. Um, what sort of things are you looking for? Glad you asked. I'm looking for all sorts of things. Anything, really. Uh, clothing, weapons, jewelry, even stuff they consider junk. <laughs> you name it. We don't get a lot of off-world stock, so I offer to buy things from travelers. Anything they're willing to part with. Between you and me, people around here talk a lot about tradition and whatnot, but even they get curious about what other worlds have to offer. Um, let's take a look at what you're selling. Sure thing. I'm also interested in buying if you have anything for sale. He's only got 2,000 credits. How am I meant to sell anything to him? My God! Come back anytime. I will. Do I have any skill points? No. So in social, so next time we can rank that up. I'm gonna You're sell them to, to him. I'm happy to help. Maybe we can make a trade. Oh, he's he's out of money already. Useless. Enjoy the rest of your day. Useless. I can't imagine you either. Right. In the interest of making money, I'm gonna I'm gonna do Say this before word. we end that episode there. the other one. Is it not? Oh, it's G for missiles. My bad. Got him. 
know what that noise is. It's an annoying noise there. And I'd like it to stop. Like, I'd really like it to stop. Holy crap. There we go. Where are the others? This one looks closer. You can do it from much further away if you lock onto it. They didn't tell me that. They're a bit further away. This has hit me a minute. Asset. Asset. That's not a thing. Uh, we pull back to Landry. If it were not for the lodge, I think I would avoid this city. It is all just too much. Ooh. Wasn't what I meant to do. I'm just here to get paid. Hello, God, I just hate, hate how it performs in sounds. In the settled systems. One pirate's so unfortunate demise law. We're making space safer, fulfilling our civic obligation. <laughs> this is great, right? We gotta pay more for that. It's the same. Pick up the next one and the... Uh... an unknown. Small company CEO suddenly disappeared, defaulting on a very serious loan we gave her. No one knows if she embezzled the funds as... Stranded somewhere, or heck, was kidnapped. And we have a lead on where she is. Please, please, please try and handle this delicately. I'll look into it. I feel better already. Good luck. Okay. Um, how, where is that? that's in this system isn't it oh no we're in alpha center <sighs> anyway we're gonna end that there got a couple more side quests done next episode we're moving into the um main story i think we gotta go see vladimir on the eye i think that was where i last left that i've been getting too caught up it's very bethesda um Thank you for watching. If you can engage with the video in any way, I'd really appreciate it. Until next time.